Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and um, this isn't a relationship video or a personal finance video like I typically do. Um, this is a video to commemorate my fourth year right here on YouTube. The first video I put out on YouTube was four years ago on August 20th and you know, today is the 26th, I believe, Sunday the 26th of August 2018 and I realized at some point this week that, hey, my anniversary is this week. So I decided that, you know, I'd put out a video to that effect. I didn't do a video last year, at least I don't think I did. Uh, but yeah, four years is a is an all round like a nice figure. And I think, you know, uh, politicians do four years in office. So it's a nice it's a nice time to mark my time on YouTube. Now, what have I learned over the past four years and especially over the last year, the past last 12 months, I've learned that doing video isn't easy. It's never going to be easy. I thought that as it, time went on, it would get easier and it kind of has, but the more time that passes and the more you observe what other people are doing on YouTube, the more you want to grow and advance and try new things and, you know, just diversify your content or get better with your, the quality of your content. And that with that comes learning and advancement and spending money so while it kind of you get into the groove of it and you know you get used to talking to a camera there's just so many other things that keep it complex and keep it complicated and you know it's best to just know that it's going to be hard and i mean after all in life nothing good or nothing great ever comes easy so i think i've come to terms with that the past uh, 12 months especially have been very interesting with my content um I started doing this financial series where I talk about, where I talk to young people about how to invest, how to save money, how to earn more money. So I've been doing that for a couple of months now and it's been fun. It doesn't get so many views, but I, I re it's dear to my heart because I feel like a lot of us don't give enough attention to our money and investing and, you know, just saving up for the future. So I started doing that. What else? This past 12 months, I've seen some, I've done some interesting videos. I've gotten some interesting traction, like the reaction video to Files' This Is Nigeria and uh, my two Avengers reaction videos and what else? The Linda Ikeji video about her pregnancy, that did okay. Um, what do I hope for the future with my YouTube channel? Um, I hope that I can continue doing content consistently or making videos consistently, at least one video a week, first and foremost. Secondly, uh, I like to diversify my content. I like to try and make it more engaging in the sense that I want to try and engage with my viewers a bit more. I'd like to see a lot more growth. I'm under 5,000 um, subscribers, very much under 5,000 subscribers. I don't want to tell you guys how, how my subscriber count, but I really wish that and I hope that going forward over the next 12 months, especially, I'd like to, I'd like to hit 5,000. I mean, it's a moderate or modest amount, in my opinion. I see other YouTubers saying they want to hit 10,000 or tens of thousands, you know, over the next 12 months or by the end of the year. But if I can do 5,000 between now and next August, I, that would be something for, that I'd be proud of. That said, here's to the future and the next four years. I hope by the special grace of God that I'll be here next August to, um, to look back and to mark another year on YouTube. That said, let's watch my first ever video that I, you know, uploaded or published right here on YouTube. It was called um, Welcome to my vlog, abumeri.com, the fortnightly episode one. So when I started my this channel, it was meant to be on photography and like photography tips and how to's and whatnot. So that's why I created the channel because for my website, I didn't want to, you know, type text. I thought doing video would be much easier. So that's why I started um, the channel. And uh, this is my first ever video. Okay, and we're live. And we're live. All right. Um, hi, yeah. everyone. Um, my name is Tito, mm -hmm. and uh, welcome to what is the uh, first episode of um, my quick information. Video this from my website, this is like the only time I tried uh, to grow a beard. To the to summer of 2014, I tried to grow a beard unsuccessfully. Blog, so yeah, um, that explains the look. About that. Uh, Late last month, June, I was putting my website now. together and I was, as I was doing so, I was thinking, what am I going to do in terms of, um, you know, the owner of... It's interesting that this first ever video was shot outside at Freedom Park to be specific because I hate shooting outdoors. I, I, I'm not a fan of it. So I'm surprised that my first ever video was shot outside. July 1st launch, I was thinking, what am I going to do in terms of um, the blog? Slightly more 
proficient in uh, video hmm. than I am in you know typing long text every week or every other week. So I said I'd do yeah, a video exactly. blog. So here it is. And uh, even at that, I knew I couldn't do it every four single years go week, by so fast. But every two weeks, manage I mean, that. I don't. So I can't even remember what took me to Freedom Park yeah, that so day. That, but I do remember nice filming my, this uh, and you know nice and feeling very awkward. Com. If you haven't checked out, is Lagos, Nigeria. This video is longer and, than it needs to be. Um, how long have I been in photography? Uh, at, so that was in 2006. My first paid job was in 2009. So ever so since I've been a photographer, I've done other things along the way. But um, and I, I am wearing a purple uh, shirt. Photography has really gained <laughs> the irony. This is not the same purple shirt that I wear for just trying to help so a sister yeah, out, by the way. This and, um, is a different purple shirt. The story behind me and it's just, getting my it's, it's weird. It never dawned on me. I never noticed that uh, you know, my first ever French video, I was wearing a purple shirt as well. The purple shirt that I wear for just trying to help a sister out has become, has become a celebrity on its own, kind of. And whenever it comes to Nigeria for holidays, it's always on my case about, you know, you don't have a website, you don't have a website. You know, all this social media stuff is not professional. You need to get a website. But I tell them I don't have a website. Check me out on Facebook and Dead. and you know even they knew that you know, and some of them said it as well that that wasn't very so this was like before instagram so before i got much on harassment instagram from chibuzo and um, also other people other colleagues uh i decided uh, towards the tail end of last year to get a website so i bought my domain name uh even though chibuzo and gd alakija as well shout out to him as well at a workshop he had um suggested some websites that actually help you build that workshop was february of that year last been four years as well and, uh, wow they both recommended gd and chibuzo actually re recommended squarespace.com which i eventually used um, halfway through the year after many months of procrastination to design my website so yeah shout out to them it really gives you formal proper presence on online mm. and uh, I'm thankful for it and yeah so here's to the future here's to many more episodes of the uh, of the fortnightly I almost forgot the name of my own video blog the fortnightly um, I won't always be doing it outdoors like I am today tell me about uh, it. right now I'm in a park in Lagos Freedom Park for an event which is gonna start in about an hour okay so that's what I was doing while I'm here waiting I might as well do my video blog for you know for the fortnight or for this first half of the month so here it is so look forward to seeing you guys soon and i hope i really get the hang of this video blog thing I, you heard the hecklers not too long ago right it's not easy but i hope i get used to it so cheers guys check out the website and i'll see you in the next episode of the fortnight that's the good thing about youtube um watching your 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 old stuff your old content and knowing that this stuff is going to be here for probably for as long as you leave it there and you know watching is it's 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 a serious case of nostalgia and yeah it's interesting to see where you started and i'm sure it's interesting for other people too uh, clients and friends and whatnot that wasn't as bad or as embarrassing as i thought it would be <laughs> so guys um thank you for being with me on the journey um, there are a few of you that have been subscribed for quite a while um, i appreciate you guys um here's to everyone else who joined like beyond this point uh, and who will subscribe and all that and here's to awesome content and confidence and diversification and just and lots of money too youtube money <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching um, happy birthday or happy youtube birthday or youtube anniversary to me and i'll see you guys in the next one remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already although i think i already said that